So we wanted to make a retrospective, a mid-career retrospective with Sheila Gouda, um, partly because I think um, this is what a museum can do so well. Um, you know, we often spend a lot of time examining the collection and thinking about sort of more thematic shows, but to bring the oeuvre of an artist together in a really concentrated way, to manage to bring all of these time frames and, and sort of practices that she's been developing over maybe 20 years together and to think about what that experience is, is something that a, a, a sort of wonderful building like the old building is perfectly placed to do. Um, I experienced and have seen a series of Sheila's um, installations, that was my first experience of her work and for me indeed they kind of distilled so incredibly a language of aesthetics, a language of um, incredible beauty but also a, an incredible sophistication about understanding how to ask a question that troubles one and how to implicate the body within that experience. So it brings together all kinds of interests I have um, in, in, in thinking about uh, uh, sort of the, the massive developments in the world, uh, how we negotiate them um, on various different levels with a really exuberant um, aesthetic pleasure. I mean, just to walk physically through some of these works is, is, is for me a kind of um, a very exciting experience and I hope other people will be really excited by that too. Um, but on another level, this year has been for us in the Vanaba a year which we've focused very much on the artist's voice. We're, we've developed a series of solos and I think we've been missing that for a while. And it's, there's something so specific about an, an art, not only obviously an artist's language, but about the concentration on their practice, bringing everything together or a selection of works together. And the chance to work with Sheila in such a concentrated manner on deciding that um, has been, yeah, just a pleasure. The other thing I'm really excited by is I think a lot of people perhaps know some of her work and maybe have experienced the major installations, but there's so um, much more of the material that we've been able to bring together, right from early um, explorations from uh, her transition from painting into a more sculptural and, and sort of spatial field with the cow dome works, uh, right up to um, much more recent explorations of the, of the sort of surface of the, either the painting or the photograph and a whole really um, intriguing interrogation of the mediatized image. So to, to sort of allow all these layers to overlap is what a, a kind of comprehensive retrospective can do um, and that's why we, we, we chose to do it.